Hello everybody and welcome to the new vlog. I hope you are keeping well. It is currently Wednesday. I am sitting outside a hotel. I am meeting a possible new supplier. Five minutes. So that's why I'm starting the vlog. It's just about to go one o'clock. I've had meetings all morning. <laughs> I've had, did I have meetings all day yesterday? I did have meetings all day yesterday. Guys, I am so busy. <laughs> it has been an amazing few weeks. Like I have to say, honestly, it's been like, there has been so much abundance coming to me and I am so incredibly grateful. I like, I cannot even tell you how grateful I feel. I have had so many opportunities arrive at my doorstep, doors are opening. The world is just presenting things to me and it is absolutely beautiful. And it's also incredibly overwhelming and exhausting <laughs> because I don't know how I can keep up with everything. Uh, in good news, my VA started with me on Monday and she is working on my tax at the moment. So it's just taking something off my hands. However, in meeting with a new accountant, hopefully that will like level up things because these are all things we have to think of as self-employed human beings. Oh my gosh, it is just, it's honestly, things are crazy and I am, and as things develop, I'll be able to share stuff, more stuff with you um, and share different things that happen. And yeah, I just, I know that you guys are always really happy for me. So I really, really appreciate your support and your love because without you guys, this wouldn't happen. So thank you. Uh, I am about to go in and go to this meeting. Did I show you my nails the other day? How freaking awesome are these? Nicole just knocks it out of the park. Knocks it out of the park. I'm so in love with them. They're like my little homage. Um, yeah, this vlog, hopefully we should be fun. I obviously, I'm not gonna film the accountant because how boring is that? Uh, but tomorrow, I was supposed to have one meeting. It's been canceled tomorrow afternoon. I'm going to my first blogging event ever in Ireland, which is crazy. Been doing this for three years now, three and a half years full time. Well, not full time, a year full time. Uh, and I'm going to my first ever vlogging event. Um, I'm doing three dance classes this week because I need it. But um, can we take a second for this makeup, please? Can you see this? Can you see this makeup? This is serving. This is serving looks. Look at this lip. How amazing is this lip? This, I have had this on since 10 o'clock. And I'm here for it. Right, I'm better going. I'm late. I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but I'm sick to death of this weather. It's freezing, it's raining. It's not currently raining, but it's been raining all day. Where is our summer? Where is my summer? Where? Alexa, pause. Hey guys. I am home now. I've been home for a few hours just getting up. Um, I actually sat on the couch and watched some TV while getting some stuff done. But I did order some stuff from Disturbia, which I'm incredibly excited about. And so I thought I would open them with you presently. Because I just realized it's half past five and I have so much to do tonight. I have a day completely out of the house tomorrow from the crack of dawn till the crack of night. Picked up four pieces. They had a buy one, get one free sale or get one half price or something like that. Bog off, something. Buy one, get one half price, yeah. So I picked up this dress, which is, does it say it down there? On this, it does indeed. This is, no, it does not say that. Oh yeah, Mortem Floral Midi Dress. You can't really see it, but I thought that this would be perfect for New York. I got everything in a size eight. Uh, the dresses I got in a size eight because I have had Disturbia things before and they're a bit on the bigger side. So I'm gonna think this fits because I actually thought it was gonna be stretchy and it's not. Okay, it actually fits perfectly, except I can't get the zip past the seam. So this is the dress. It's so, so, I still have my leggings on underneath it. I can't really be arsed taking them off right now. Oh my God, my eyesight's like, I can't see properly, I'm so tired. But it's really sweet. I love this detailing. Yes, I could have done with the 10. 
but there's actually so much material here. It's just this tiny little bit that I need to close and it will close. It just needs a bit of help. Okay, so then we have, I tried on one dress and it was just too tight. It didn't look well. I didn't even bother showing it to you. But then we have two absolute winners. So these trousers are the Scorpio trousers, I think. So they have this amazing houndstooth um, horse bit, uh, not house, uh, horse bit buckle on them, which is my favorite detail on clothing. If you didn't know, horse bit is my favorite hardware. Then they have this little scorpion. Oh my God, these are just, this is an extra pocket that sits almost like a little kind of peplum skirt. They fit like a dream. They're size 10 and they are long enough for the tall girls because I'm sick of buying trousers that are too short. Then this underneath is like a kind of a PVC bralette. And on top is this freaking harness that crosses over. This is probably a bit too much with the like leather and leather and harness and hardware. But my God, I'm in love with this harness. This is so beautiful. This is so well made. It's so different. It's so elegant, but totally like alt and intense and beautiful. And I feel so beautiful right now. Oh, my soul. My soul is so happy, but I need to go and practice my dancing because I have not practiced it this week and I have two dances to know by tomorrow. Honestly, these videos should just be called Carla, Car Chronicles with Carla. Hi, good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. I am on my way into town. I am an hour and a bit later than I had intended to be. Please don't fall. I'm stuck in traffic. Uh, so I actually, I'm an hour later than I intended to be. I wanted to leave my house around 20 past six. I'm halfway into town and it's 20 past seven. So it could be worse, but uh, yeah, I had one of those nights where Vincent couldn't sleep. And then because he couldn't sleep, I couldn't sleep. And yeah, it wasn't great. I'm gonna remove this really minging um, muslin that's been sitting there for every time I've been filming. But I'm on my way into town this morning. Uh, I did have a meeting which has been canceled uh, or postponed. And then, so instead I am going to get a lot of work done this morning because yesterday guys, I'm not gonna lie, it was one of those days where I was not with it at all. I just, I was very hormonal. I couldn't get my SHIT together and I was really tired. Now, I'm probably more exhausted today because of lack of sleep, etc. But we will have to suffice. I thought there was a non-smoking at the bus stop. That was very entertaining, but it wasn't a non-smoking. It's just a nun. Anyway, um, you don't see many nuns these days, do you? Like, I've seen, like, nuns aren't a thing, really. And, like, their habits are a lot less, like, intense than they used to be. Can I not go down the road that I used to go down? They're really trying to not let us drive into town anymore and it's very annoying because uh, sometimes I do have to drive into town because public system public transport in Ireland isn't great and I have my dance bag my entire work bag and my handbag and I'm not carrying all of that around all day uh, I will break my back one o'clock I'm meeting Laura the glam shamrock we are going to uh, what are we going to the cloud 10 uh, which is an online beauty retailer we're going to a show uh, uh, launch or an event or something, I'm actually not sure. This will be, oh, I'm gonna lose you guys now. Oh, no. Shit, 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 shit. Said that it was not gonna rain, I lied. But you know, I'm just seeing a family uh, limo for a hearse come out of, the, out of the funeral home that I'm in front of. And you know what? Life is pretty good. Like a bit of rain, I would take a bit of rain over being, you know, having to get into one of those family limousines today. So, you know, that just puts a bit of perspective into your life, doesn't it, sometimes? Anyway, because this is not the greatest <laughs> drive in filming, I am going to turn this off at the next red light and then I will see you all in town. I am going to treat myself to cornucopia for breakfast. I, oh yeah, I am starting the... Uh, Mindy Pelt's fasting program. So this is the 30 day fasting reset. I am starting that. So you start on the first day of your period. It's from Fast Like a Girl. And I really want to just 
I really want to see if it just makes a difference to my gut health, to my general health, which I'm sure it will because I know the importance of fasting and the benefits of fasting. And she, in the Fast Like A Girl reset, she gives you like what to do. And on the seven days leading up to your period, you don't fast. And I am three days before my period, so I am not fasting. And I can honestly tell you, I need assistance, but I'm gonna go around the corner and I'm gonna lose you, so I'll see you. Who's busy doing her thing? Look how cute these are. It's just like so good. It's like out of all the SPF sales, it is like straight away or three The room is so cute and so nicely set up. Yeah, you go sit down, you go sit down. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. So, to take you through our products that we're going to go through today, you'll have everything in your pack. So, as I said, if you do want to join along, and um, mix it up. We will, Lindsay will be on hand to go around and share with you some water we have. We also have some um, mitts as well to clean off whether you're doing it on your face or if you're just trying it on your hands, try to um, mix up. Because we're going to share with you some top tips that you do need to know when you are using mix it up to make sure you're getting the right consistency. Please feel free to do so. Okay, turn your jelly cup upside down and nothing will come out. That is the foamy consistency that you will have, so nothing will come out. So I'm going to show you kind of here just how you get it in your hand. So you're going to apply it and then you're going to mix it up in your hand like that. And that's the kind of foamy consistency that you want to apply. And it's really easy to do that over your sink or in your shower and then you can just apply that to the skin. Oh, it's the like go for So you're like pushing it down and okay. then you're literally, you're kind of whipping it almost. Okay, so don't be too precious about it. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. But like you can do it in the palms of your hands and stuff. Yeah. It's just, I suppose for demos and stuff, it's good to see exactly what it turns into. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Thank you. And ceramides are needed to actually reinforce the protective barrier in the skin. And a lot of the time when you're prone to sensitivity or like swelling or redness or dryness within the skin, it basically means that your barrier on the surface of your skin is impaired. And what happens then is like pollution, chemicals and microbes can enter the skin. Hello people, I am back in the car. Is that working okay? I probably put some crazy setting on it or something. Oh my gosh guys, it's four o'clock. I am late to get to dance, but I wanted to check in with you. My gosh guys, I um, I am, <laughs> I just feel so wonderful at the moment. I am so lucky, I am so grateful to you guys because without your support and your kindness uh, I would not get the opportunities that I am getting at the moment. This is definitely on a weird setting. It's on a weird setting. No, it's fine. Oh my god, I need to fix my makeup before I go in. I think it's probably just because it's dark. Oh, I've got to concentrate, girl. This is the second pole. This is like the hardest spot to get out of. Uh, thankfully, I'm very good Parker. Uh, I honestly, I have my cup runneth over. I have just had the most amazing day. I got to see Susie from Hilden Beauty. I got to see Laura, the Glam Shamrock. We got to sit at a table together. It was like mum's day out. It was just, it was so nice. And talking about beauty and Dermalogica. And I got to meet the team from Dermalogica. I got to meet like the lovely Jen and Susie. I got to meet the lovely Anya from Cloud 10 Beauty. And I finally got to meet Rebecca with love whom I have spoken to online for like ever and she is just even more gorgeous in person, both body and soul. So yeah, I just feel, I feel wonderful. And then I went and had a quick catch up with my sister while I had a, I did end up going back to, uh, so she really should not be doing this. Um, I ended up going back to Cornucopia for lunch uh, and by lunch, I mean it what, was like half three. Yeah, it's ten past four now. Uh, because I needed something because I had like a few little picky bits in uh, at the event, but it was mostly not vegan friendly. So I had like a couple of bits that looked somewhat vegan friendly, but for me, it's not really a thing. Like if it's not like 100% vegan, 
you know, I just, I deal with it at the time and we just, we don't make big deals out of these things. So anyway, I have just, and then as I was leaving, as I was walking to my car, it's a, it's a hefty walk sometimes. It's like 50, it's not hefty. It's 15 minutes, but like, um, it's, it's just the weather today. As you know, I've been complaining and pissing and moaning about the weather in Ireland for the last couple of weeks. And it's been raining all day. And then I'm walking and it's blazing sunshine in 22 degrees. And I'm like, Ugh. so yeah, we, we just, we give out about everything, don't we? So we never get anything uh, just the way we want. We're like Goldilocks with the weather in Ireland. But I'm on my way to dancing now. I'm hoping that I'm not gonna be stuck in traffic forever because it looks crazy outside. I have 45 minutes to get there and change. At least I got my water already, so that's good. But oh, what fresh hell is this? Hello, hello, hello everybody. Happy Tuesday. Uh, I'm currently in the car in Dunboom Town Centre. I am so hungry. It's what, quarter to one? Quarter to two, exactly quarter to two. This is my first meal of the day. Uh, I might pass out if I don't get some food into me, so bear with me. I'm gonna be talking with my mouth full. Today, is a hectic day. I have been out since quarter to seven. Uh, you saw me in Starbucks first, getting some work done. I needed to get some shiz done. I needed to not be in the house. Oh, they changed the tofu. Oh, that's still nice. Mm. It's cold. It's not as nice, damn. Um, mm. Oh, that's so disappointing. Came all the way here to get this. I couldn't upload in Starbucks uh, my YouTube video because YouTube and Starbucks don't like each other. So I went somewhere else, couldn't do it there. I had a hair appointment, was working, trying to do it there. Wouldn't work for some reason, their internet wouldn't work. Even though like I have their Wi-Fi password. I have my hair done, so I have my roots done, all ready for New York. Now, I'm in 25 minutes. I have an appointment for my Botox and possibly filler as well. Um, and then I have a meeting with my assistant. It's a full day today. <laughs> so I'm eating a poke bowl from Umai in Dundrum Town Centre. I got the tofu spicy kimchi uh, bowl. And it's got edamame, seaweed salad, avocado. I think it was in my last vlog as well, or the one of my last vlogs. Sushi rice, some seeds, it's just a big old bowl of health and it's delicious. Eat this, get going. Oh, right there. In my favorite chair on earth and we are doing full refresh on my face. So we have just, and we, Sana's just put these tiny dots in here on my chin where I'd lost volume. We've done Botox. We did, what else did we, you did the Botox? Yeah, we've done Botox She's, in the neck as well as Oh things. yes which should be really interesting to see. So that's gonna stop this looking too extreme. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna do skin booster as well. Over, so we're just gonna pop that in here. Yeah. You're gonna be so bland. <laughs> I don't know, I like, seem to have like massively broken out as well the last two days. Yeah, what's going on? I think it's hormones. Yeah. Yeah. Could that be because can you diet then? Or Possibly. Do you think so? I think that I'm like, I'm like really exfoliating my skin, so I might need to like give it a second. Mm. Oh, it's, it's my period probably as well. Yeah. And sugar. Yeah. Because I've stopped taking, I've stopped now, so. Right. Hi, everybody. 
Uh, what time is it? 5.42. I am finally finished for the day-ish and I'm on my way home and it says I will get home at 6.31. Excuse me. I bought myself a car snack because I have not eaten since I had my tofu poke bowl at two, was it quarter to two? Um, I got some melon from Dunn's and it's gone off and it's very disappointing. So my entire journey home, I have a water, which I'm very sad about. Um, in Ireland, I, I know this isn't really a thing in the US, but we don't have much like drive through in terms of like coffee and stuff like that. Uh, so you have to like get out of your car and like I just, I need, I need to get home. Uh, we don't have, we think we have like two drives through Starbucks. And honestly, I'm so sick of Starbucks, but anyway, my face has been done. I will show you probably in the morning because uh, I can imagine when I get home, it's going to be nuts out. But I, we're going to have pizza tonight. Um, I called Vincent and he's like, do you want pizza? And I was like, yes, I want pizza tonight. Uh, so pizza it is tonight. Um, I had a lot done today. I had my Botox done. I had my chin, I had my Botox on my forehead, between my brows, my crow's feet then we did skin booster which is the hyaluronic acid and we did that around my my frown lines around my face uh, then we did botox on um, under my uh lips uh and then we did it on my neck to soften out my neck lines then we did filler in my cheeks and my chin so it's, it was a, a multiple injection day. I think we did 40 injections. I can't exactly say. Um, I can't 100% say whether it was 40, but I'm pretty sure it was 40. I'm gonna go now because I'm driving and this isn't safe. So I'll see you later. Get a blue. Can we have some not so blue? No, we can't because that's Ireland and it is blue. Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday. I am actually on here to finish yesterday's vlog. I promised I would come on and show you the results of having some work done yesterday with Dr. Sana. Uh, so yesterday, I'll just go through quickly what we did. Now, obviously, I'm wearing a lot of makeup today. So like I'm about to film like it's a filming video for me. I also have my hair done. So I'm nice and like dark again. Not that I wasn't dark, but like, you know, you know, if you get your roots done, you feel me. So yesterday we did traditional Botox. That was the first thing that we did, uh, that she did to me. I didn't do anything. I lay there and got pin cushioned. So the traditional Botox that we did was on my crow's feet here. So it'll take, uh, give or take about two weeks to set in. Really for me, I find it's about like a week ish that it starts to really kick in she also did my forehead she did between my eyes so like it's actually it's already started to kick in a little bit which is great uh, and yeah around my eyes between my forehead and around here as well to give me like a little bit of an eyebrow lift which i love then as as a, well i'm not saying that anybody needs to have this done this is just what i choose to have done and it's also a lot to do with the implications after having such massive dramatic weight loss so also what we did um, is we did Botox, different types of Botox, so not your traditional. So she does Botox here because I have, you can see this muscle here. Now this is really nitpicking like this is, I'm not saying that you guys need to do this. Again, with any, this is just my choice. So what happens is it can pull my face down at the side, like my smile down. So it actually just holds that muscle because of the weight loss. So it'll keep it and age as well. Um, then we also did Botox in my neck and that is to improve the elasticity and kind of smooth everything out and again it's prevention as well for further down the line as I get older. Then we went on to filler. So I have filler in my temples, under my eyes, my cheeks and my chin and the only filler that we did was very pinpointed filler here and here on my, che on my cheeks because I have some volume loss here. Sorry, I ran out of battery, ran out of space, ran out of everything. Oh, and um, the lighting is much better now for some reason. So we did here, just to fill out my cheeks a little bit, just to remove that dent. 
Then we did a tiny bit of filler. I have like massive spots going on at the moment because I'm kind of treating my skin a bit differently and it's just having a little bit of a freak out, but I'm gonna to talk to you about that in the next vlog. Um, and then I just a little tiny bit of filler here and then we did Skin Booster, which is basically hyaluronic acid that she injects around where I have some smile lines and the hyaluronic acid uh, tracks water. So it's basically just like plumping out some fine lines um so that is what we had i had done yesterday so it's quite a lot uh i think it was 40 something injections altogether, which is a lot for somebody who used to have a massive fear of needles and now i'm just like sitting there watching her shove needles into my face and i'm like yeah whatever uh, but today this is the end of the video i i hope you guys have enjoyed it i am going to be actually picking up my camera immediately to start a new vlog so uh You'll probably see this in the next one and be like, did I not see this vlog already? But you did not. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and turn on the notifications. Make sure you're following me over on Instagram as well if you don't already. And I have lots of hopefully very exciting things coming up in the future that I cannot wait to share with you. And things are continuing to move and you guys are so supportive and so kind. And I appreciate you all so much. The three things that I'm grateful for this week are the glimpses of light and summer that are coming in to Ireland. I'm honestly so sick of this weather at the moment. It's just, it's right now, it's dull, it's windy, it's overcast. It's just awful. It's not summer. Uh, I am also incredibly, incredibly grateful for my family and the support and the love that they are showing me all the time. And I'm so grateful for the network of women that I have like have congregated around me and that I have the ability to bounce off ideas of and things like that and it just makes it makes such an amazing it's amazing um yeah I'm really happy with the people who are surrounding me so I'm incredibly grateful uh so thank you all again so much I love you and leave you please don't forget to show up for yourself and I'll talk to you next week bye